what is the link with India? The link with India is very interesting, is that the Bharata tribe called their homeland, their original homeland, the Sapta Sindhu. This was the, <coughs> the, and contrary to popular belief, the Sapta Sindhu is not the five uh, 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 rivers of Punjab plus Saraswati um, <laughs> and Sindhu. That is not the Sapta Sindhu. The Sapta Sindhu relates to, and I've written about this in my book, Land of Seven Rivers, it relates purely to all the small little rivers that flow into the Saraswati River. In fact, made up the Saraswati. So that's why it related to a very, very small area. But the Bharatas called their land Sapta Sindhu. And this idea of Sapta Sindhu was what other countries began to call it. So if you read the Avesta, which was the Iranian uh, uh, text from roughly the same time, they mention the Sapta Sindhu uh, in there, except they change the pronunciation to Hapta Hindu. And that is the word where Hindu comes. It is a mispronunciation of the word Sindhu. And Hapta Hindu then becomes the word by which the people in the Middle East begin to know the Indians. But notice that the word Sapta Sindhu was a geographical term used by the Bharatas to describe themselves. So eventually what happened as the idea of Indic civilization grew, the idea of Sapta Sindhu also grew. So that is why you have in fact a chant <coughs> in much later times, from Puranic times, which is still used quite widely, mm -hmm. which is used by the way by many people in Western India particularly when they are bathing, and they chant out seven rivers. But then those seven rivers have changed from this tiny number of rivers in and around Haryana to include later the Ganga, the Godavari, the Krishna, the Narmada, and so on. So, th so what you can see is just like the civilizational idea is spreading, the geographical idea is also spreading. And now this idea moves to the Middle East, to the Hapta Hindu, then it spreads further west and it becomes Hindu to in Hindu or Indian. And so this, there are these two parallel ideas of India have existed from the very, very beginning. And in my view, depending on how, what you are really trying to express, uh, they, they are interchangeable in certain contexts, and in other contexts, they are distinct. With that, let me hand it back to you. That was wonderful. Um, thank you for that. It's funny, we all grow up with the sense that we have pieces of a jigsaw, that we have certain words and certain ideas and names that give us a, a vague, vague fabric of what it is to be Indian and what it is to have a connection with Bharat. Every time I have a conversation with Sanjeevji, it's like suddenly that jigsaw, all of the gaps get filled and a, a new picture is woven and I think that he's just done that again. <laughs> Thank you for that. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.